Hey, Diva Gals. I'm here with the cast of Casting the Net, which is on UrbanFlixTV.com, and we're going to meet these lovely ladies who star on this fun series. Hi. I'm Lenata Washington. I play Cassie. I would call her the mommy of the group. I have a four-year-old, well, five-year-old daughter. Um, and, uh, yeah, the mom. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's pretty much Cassie in a nutshell. Everything about her is like wanting everything to be right and good and everybody to be taken care of and sometimes not being self-aware enough to realize that um, she's kind of like in a privileged position compared to some of her friends and she sometimes speaks out of turn. The character you play is based on you? A little bit, yes. I mean, I'm still married, obviously, to my husband, who's the creator, but um, a lot of the... Um, little moments you know in the in the opening scene of the first episode like it starts with me going into an audition and i'm speaking portuguese and i'm on the phone with my mom and that's definitely something that is often happening <laughs> right before an audition i'm on the phone with my mom assuring her that everything's fine that i'll take care of it the kid's okay don't worry and so yeah he had a habit of, of just infusing the character with little bits and pieces and nuances of stuff that i do normally I am Sienna Gounet, and I play Holly Washington. Um, my character is um, a sexy dork with yes. a heart that is a garden of love. Um, and uh, very tenacious, uh, free-spirited, um, you know, really wants to get married, um, but is willing to, you know, test the waters until she finds the right one. Uh, what else can I say about me? I, I consider all three of us really good actresses and we just, you know, we can't catch a break, yeah. which is, you know, a little bit of art imitating life. Uh, <laughs> so with that said, um, the chemistry between the three of us is just like, it's pretty magical. Absolutely. We've had a really good time we and um, we laugh a lot. And that is uh, special. You don't get that that often. <laughs> yeah, so I am April Jones and I play Sharice Bloom and um, I would say for me my character is the wild one, the one who kind of um, comes up you know with this crazy idea for us to step outside of the box and kind of has that influence initially you know we all three are you know Cassie, mom, Holly, the little bit of a dorky, you know, just love bug. And then myself, the stripper to make money on the side. But, you know, definitely persistent in hustling and, you know, trying to um, do whatever needs to be done to survive and succeed. Yeah. Well, Casting the Net is about three actresses who can't catch a break. So they decide to start their own movie. So how did you guys get involved in a project about three actresses who couldn't catch a break, and then you got you caught your break getting on the show. <laughs> we'll start with you, April. Right? Um, yeah, well, like I said, you know, I come up with the crazy idea to start a movie. You know, my girlfriends roll with the punches. I mean, Cassie Mommy was kind of like, oh, no, you know, she's the mom, bro. She has to be that way. And, you know, but she came through and fell through, and we we rocked on, and we created this this Western together that, you know, was magical. At the end of the day, we all had our differences, but we all still came together to reach that commonality and a goal because we realized that we were more of a power force than the power forces that were trying to hinder us. So it's all about trying to get casted in Hollywood. Tell us your craziest casting story. Well, I had a call back. It was a room full of people. And I'm reading with a casting director who will remain unnamed. And she, we're doing the scene and I had quite a lengthy like paragraph to say. And I started saying it and she picked up her phone and started texting or doing whatever. And was like really into it. And I'm like, watching this happen, trying to stay in character. Mm. And then I'm done with my, you know, speech. And she's is like, oh, throws it down and then says her line. But here's the thing. 
she's sitting the usually the casting director is like sitting in front of everyone so you can't really you know you couldn't really they can't really see and they're they're focused on you like so intently they didn't even see her do it uh. so that was that was uh not the most positive thing <laughs> but i wanted to just give you some dirt <laughs> because it's it's like it happened i'm just telling you what my experience was and it was interesting be prepared. Leonardo, what about you? Did, did you have to, did you audition for this role of playing yourself? <laughs> I did. Yes. No, I had to earn it. I had to earn it. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to do it. Again, I enjoy what I do enough to sort of do the work and show them that I can do the work. So um, at the same time, sometimes you wish nepotism would work in your favor. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, um, but I'd say, you know, I've had a number of crazy little things. I think one of the things happened, it wasn't even, even um, I hadn't even started auditioning yet. So my name is Linada, and as you see, it's spelled kind of funny, L-I-N-A-R-A. -A. It's Brazilian, you roll the R. I often have to repeat it for people to get it. Not a problem, I'm used to it. So I signed in on the sign-in sheet, and as we all know, those sign-in sheets sometimes, the box is like this big, and they want you to put your whole name in it. And so I wrote my name, sat down. Casting director comes in the room. It's always these casting directors. She will remain unnamed as well. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't the same casting director, Sienna. Um, she comes in the room. <laughs> she looks at the, uh, the sign-in sheet and she goes, um, mm, Lenara Washington? And I said, oh yeah, that's me, that's me. It's actually Lenara. And she looks down at it again and she says, oh my God, I could barely read your name. It's atrocious. Your handwriting's atrocious. <laughs> And I literally, and, and this is around like 10 other actors who are all sitting there and they all kind of freeze and look up at me. And I literally say to her, you said my name, you, you pronounced it incorrectly, but you hit every single letter. Lenara, you said it. So clearly you could read it. And uh, did you get that? Then, <laughs> so then she kind of like gave me a snarky look and then the audition from there was kind of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a tough one, right? It, it's because it's, again, so much of what we do is emotion and energy. And I had done my work to prepare and be there. And then she literally is like, oh, your handwriting is atrocious. And, and that's how she starts. That's how she welcomes me to her home, essentially. You know, I did my best in the room, but clearly she'd already you put her mind where she wanted it. So, uh. well, April, what about your uh, story? No, I haven't had crazy ones, but I will say for this casting, it was. It was oh. probably my craziest. And the reason why I'll say this is because I've never been naked on camera ever for any role. That is huge in itself, all right? And so I'm like, oh, God, this is like, I don't know, but I'm going to do it. They're like, well, we need to see your, your breast. And, you know, I'm like, all right, well, where are we going to do this at, huh? Where are we going to do this? So we go into the room, and, you know, I have to, like, show my breast to the director, you know, um, her husband. And it's like... <laughs> okay I mean like you know and then it's like all right come back all right Phaedra now needs to see these and so now I'm like no! okay is this good enough and it's like okay this could work and it's like okay and then it's just like you're waiting to see if you book this role and you feel like well hopefully the tits are good enough to actually play this role so for me that was probably the craziest I mean they definitely made me comfortable but it was just like my first time ever doing oh my something God. like that if I can yeah. say something, April, I got to see your audition on tape, the one that you did the first time you went in. And part of why you won that role is that you were un like, you came in, you're like, I'm a stripper. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. You didn't strip in the, in the episode, right. but like you literally yeah. in the audition, but you did it. Like she went for it. And that was the, pa I mean, I got goosebumps just talking about it. that was kind of the passion and the, and the drive. And that like, that nailed it for you because you, you literally committed to it just so you know. And it's, it's very clear that you are all very excited about this project and about acting and about being in a show about acting. So oh, just one last thing. Please tell me, each one of you, why we should watch this show. And we'll start with you, Leonata. Oh, my gosh. Well, we should watch this show because Sienna Gonet, April Jones, Leonata Washington, we are amazing together. It is funny. It is interesting. Um, I know often there's this idea that like women shows about women and shows about women of color aren't interesting or whatever, but that is, that is so far from the case. We literally take the show, we elevate it and 
um, it's a fun ride. You're really going to enjoy watching these three women, these three entrepreneurs take Hollywood by the balls and, and make their dreams come true. And I think there's something in it for everyone to relate to. I have had friends who are white, black, Asian, male, female, in the business, not in the business, and hands down, they love it. They, they, they start the first episode, they get sucked in, and their only complaint is that there aren't more episodes for them to watch yet. So here's hoping we get through this pandemic quickly because I can't wait to get back on set with these gals. Oh, that sounds amazing. Sienna, what about you? Well, I mean, first of all, it's binge-worthy, and we collectively are crush-worthy. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think it's really witty, it's smart, it's funny. Um, all the other characters as well, like a shout out to them. They're, they're amazing. It's, it's just, it's, 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 it's a full bite of food, you know, it'll nice. fill your belly. It'll fill oh, your belly. I love that. And what about you, April? Um, just to piggyback off of them, because everything they said is pretty much the whole show. I just feel like it's definitely fresh and it's definitely current, you know, and um, people who watch it are going to be able to relate to every person that's actually in this series, you know, in some sort of capacity, you'll feel like, well, I was there before, or I experienced this, or I'm Columbus Short, or I'm Harpo, or I'm, you know, we're all striving here in California, trying to make something of ourselves. And I think that that's what's so uh, relatable. And um, yeah, you're just gonna love it. It's great energy. You can feel it through the through the TV, <laughs> and you get to see my breast. <laughs> okay, now that is just worth watching this show. Like, it is. <laughs> and then this one over here. Oh, I can't give it away. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I'm excited. I want to binge, and I have to say, I have a little bit of a girl crush on all three of you. So, oh. girls, make sure you watch Casting the Net on UrbanFlixTV.com. You can go there, get your seven-day free trial, and it's only $4.99 a month. Support Black Art. Take care. Yes. Bye. Thank you. That was awesome.